Welcome everyone to the Electric Coaches channel. Last week on the Miniature Football Coaches Association website, we had a very lengthy discussion about why base why ball bases are illegal. And that discussion had motivated me to do a video on baseballing. I have two videos on YouTube, one entitled Baseballing Technique and the other entitled Baseballing Camp. In the uh, Baseballing Technique video, I basically should dem demonstrated how to boil your, your base. And in the Baseballing Camp, I gave a short demo on the outcome of those boil bases. Well, today, we're going to talk about the three rookie bases that were boiled along with the total team control bases. And what you're looking at, here I have a microscopic view of the prongs on a Tudor rookie base. This rookie base was not boiled. This is an unboiled base. The bases that you see in the top right corner here, those bases were boiled. And I want to show you the difference between this unboiled rookie base and these boiled rookie bases. This is another look of the underside of the unboiled Tudor rookie base. And these are the front prongs of the base. And if you look at these prongs on this side over here, you can see a little bit of flash on the outside edge of that prong. These front prongs on this side of the base, they look rather clean. Now remember, you know, our unboiled rookie bases, we still have those sitting on the game table. And we're going to work with those that those bases momentarily. Let's see if we can get a a look at the back prongs of this base. See if we can get back prongs in focus here. Let's see what type of look we can get. Okay, because earlier you saw only one set of the back of the prongs. This is a look with both sets of prongs in the rear. And it doesn't look too bad with the flash except the one prong that you saw earlier. There was a little bit of flash on the uh, tip. And I believe it was this prong here. Uh, but this base we're not going to we're not going to tweak this one because it's not boiled. Uh, and by the way, this base is not a frosty base. This base was is a uh, was a regular uh, Tudor rookie base that I wanted to experiment with to see if I could boil them. That's why I only boiled three. And again, there they are here at the uh, top of uh, top right corner of your screen under the arrow there. So, I'm going to move on to the uh, boil base and see what we have with it. This frame that you're looking at now is the underside of one of the boiled rookie bases. And if you look at the prongs, these are the back prongs, by the way, of this rookie base. If you look at the prongs, there is flash extending from those prongs. The boiling process did not melt that flash away. So when I tweak this base, I just may pass a lighter over it to see if I can get that flash to come off. The unboiled base, I put it in the top right corner here. It's that base on the right, right over here, under this arrow. That's the unboiled base that you have seen earlier. 
there was a small bit of flash on the tip of its prong. But it wasn't as bad as the flash that you see on this boil base here. So again, we're going to see if we can take a lighter to those prongs and uh, perhaps get the flash off of it. Let me move this base around and see if we can get a look at the front prongs here. Let's see if we can get a look what we have. Okay, trying to get in focus here. Okay. These are the front prongs. Yeah, these are the front prongs. And again, if you look closely at the tips there, there are little fibers, little plastic fibers extending from those tips. So yeah, this particular base I'm going to spend a little bit of time with. In fact, this is the base we're going to use for this video because of the amount of flash that our microscope is picking up on. I'm going to do some run tests with it and we're going to do some resistance tests to see what we what we have. We're now at the game table and we put our boiled base on the running back, the Le'Veon Bell. And I have my pliers at the ready, ready to start tweaking. So what we're going to do, we're going to just run this base and see what we get from it before we use our pliers. Let's see what happens. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Uh, he started off the line of scrimmage rather quickly. But it looks as if he's about to go out of bounds. Yeah, he's not going to cut back. But still, still got tweak to do, tweaking to do. And i um, like to look at the uh, bottom of the base here. And you remember that flash that we had that you had seen in the previous frame. You can't see that with the naked eye. And especially you can't see it in this camera. So I'm going to start with the rear prongs with my pliers. We're going to smash them. Now I don't want to use my pliers on the uh, front prongs here because remember after boiling these prongs are very tender but what I do want to use I want to use my lighter on these prongs to remove that flash that you have seen well, since we know the base was turning left a little bit let me see if we can align these prongs with our fingers with my finger here might be able to get this base to run a little straighter based on what we had seen earlier this base may not play running back it may be a defender let's see what we have still turning but that's okay it's okay this base doesn't necessarily mean it's gonna, this base is not going to necessarily be on a running back. We're just using this figure to test it out. So I'm going to get my lighter and I'm going to begin to flash this base. And we're going to run test again. We're also going to put this base back under the microscope to get a look and see how much flash we removed if any of the flash removed at all I now have my lighter and I want to begin flashing on these front prongs here I want to flash here so I want to 
try and hit this uh these set this set of prongs on this side of the base and then do the other set on this side so from this position I'm gonna see if I can make this happen got my flame pass it got it in there let me do it again did it Then you gotta also remember that this base absorbed a little bit of oil during the boiling process so it's a chance that the base could catch fire so be careful how long you keep your flame on a boil base so I'm gonna inspect the prongs a little bit here see what we have now I just wanted to set the figure on the table and now I want to run it let's see what our flash has done for us base is still turning okay I flashed the front prongs on this base for Le'Veon Bell so we're gonna run it and see how the base does now let's see what we get Still running out of bounds. He had good explosion from the line of scrimmage. That shows a lot of promise. Um, still got to flash those rear prongs. And uh, after we do that, then we're going to go to the microscope and see what we've done in, in regards to removing that flash. So um, let me get my lighter again. And we're going to hit these rear prongs with our lighter. Got a flame going. Pass it over. Do it again. One more time. There we go. Hit the rear prongs. Going to inspect. Let me, uh, Touch them, touch these prongs a little bit with our pliers. Because sometimes when you flash, flashing with your lighter creates a little bead on the end of the prong there. So you might want to take your pliers and flatten them out. Okay. Set our figure down on the board here. <clears throat> Let's see what we got. He's still turning. And part of the reason that he's turning, I'm willing to bet that the trouble is right here on this set of prongs. These two right here. And the way I'm going to test that, so I'm going to take my finger and I'm going to push him up a little bit. Test my theory out. So we reset the figure. Let's run. Now he's turning even more now. All right. So I want to sweep that same set of prongs back down. Okay. I want to go on this side and push these ones up. See, these are just minor tweak adjustments you can do that won't alter the base in any way you know, by using your fingers after you use your pliers okay let's run them okay that's better that's a whole lot better so this base is showing promise let's do one more test here Let's put this base up against the Marquis Pouncey center figure. Let's see what happens. Well, of course, he's not going to hold up against a total team control base alignment. So I just wanted to see what was going to happen. Let's do another test here.
Remember that invisible base that we had tweaked earlier? We're still not finished tweaking this because we got to go to the back blade on this base. Let's put it up against the invisible base. See what happens. Uh, not bad at all. Invisible base held its ground. Okay. Let's run again. Okay. Good deal. Good deal. Before we go to the microscope, I want to check some vitals real quick. Here we have the unboiled base. And it comes in at 0.7 grams. I'm going to pull that. And it's the boil base. Boil base comes in at 0.8 grams. So a tenth of a gram heavier. Also, remember we talked about earlier with boil bases. It's softer. You can easily twist this base. See that? Very pliable. The unboiled base, you can twist it as well. But it's not as smooth as the boil base. Now, because this base is not a frosty, it, it still holds its dark green color. But it does have that haze, that, that cloud, that cloudy type of look to it. Along with that, as I was twisting this base, it ripped a little bit. It cracked right here. The boiling made this, made the shell of the base very, very tender, very sensitive. But the base is still usable. Still usable. <coughs> Let's uh, move our scale. Okay. And that's, um, let's get our caliper here. And we're going to measure overall length. This is the unboiled base, by the way. The unboiled base comes in at 27, 27 millimeters in length and width Let's see what we get 15 point six four millimeters that's the on ball base so we had 27 in length and 15 point six four in length now the boiled rookie base comes in at 27.41 millimeters in length. And width, we have 15.73. So not much difference. Not much difference at all in regards to length and thickness. Uh, let's see. Measure our prongs. Prongs are point fifty four millimeters. Those are the front prongs. Let me grab this unboiled base. See if we can sweep them up a little bit. Point forty millimeters in thickness. Point forty. Let's go over to the microscope and take a look at how much flash has been removed. We are now back under the base of the uh, boiled to the rookie base. And unfortunately, my friends, we have not removed the flash from those prongs. Just from looking at these two prongs here. By the way, this is the back of the base. That flash is still present. 
and and it's partly due to the fact that plastic only shrinks but so far so those uh <clears throat> flash fibers are still on the outer edge of the prong here and here on both of these prongs um there appears to be not much flash on the tips up here. But this entire portion of the prong from here all the way up this way to the tip, that's the part that contacts the board. So that flash, that little bit of flash that we have on there could potentially affect the performance of the bass. So let's uh let's move around a little bit and look at some of the other prongs here. This is the other two prongs in the rear, also on the rear of the bass. And then you'll see see if we can get a better focus on those prongs. You'll see there's flash along the outer edges here and it's a little bit across the top there on that tip of that prong so overall the flash is uh having is causing this base to run the way that you saw it let's see if we can move to the front part of the uh of this base let's make some adjustments here so we can get in focus okay not bad not bad okay you are now at the front of the base <clears throat> let me see if i can get a uh more heads up look at the top of these prongs okay tip it down just a little bit Okay, there appears to be a little bit of lint on this part of the base here, right in here on these prongs. Let's see if we can uh, use our stylus to perhaps get at that lint probably. Okay. Well, overall, have flash on the uh, the on the prongs here as well. So we're going to continue to work with this base as well as the others. And I hope that this uh, video is useful to you as you boil and tweak your bases. I'm Mo Rob. Thanks for watching.